Hello, this is George Hutton, and you are listening to the Mind Persuasion Podcast. Today, we continue our study of Money Brain. For more information, please visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash money dash brain. Today, we'll be talking about creating daily evidence. After you have a bit of experience digging up some old positive memories, either of being worthy or any other negative beliefs you are rewriting, It's time to take your show on the road. Well, not exactly on the road, but once you can purposely recall some positive beliefs from your past, you can start to bring those positive beliefs to bear on your thinking of your future. We'll also learn a few ways to create some proof from your daily experience. Both will have an additive effect on your journaling efforts. Creating Daily Evidence Suppose you are working on a belief that you are smart enough to make more money, and you found a few experiences in your past that, when purposely recalled, bring up some good feelings. You can also purposely create some experiences to prove that to yourself. There are plenty of ways to make a little bit of money. Understand this process is not mainly to make money, only to prove to yourself that you are smart enough to make more money than you have now. When earning extra money from side gigs, for example, it's very common to have high hopes. Remember, we humans are hardwired to hope for more than is realistic, meaning you might think of finding some junk in your garage and selling it on eBay, so you take the weekend, clean out your garage, and find some stuff you might sell. In the process, you might start dreaming of how much money you could make under some best-case scenario. Suppose you look at all your junk and imagine you might get as much as $250 for everything. You take the time to set up some sales pages, all the while dreaming of getting 200 to $300 for your efforts. Finally, the sales come through and you've got a grand total of $75. If you had high hopes and got less than what you'd hoped, you would be disappointed. You might even try this a few times and each time feel let down. If you do this enough, your cause-effect generator will teach you that selling on eBay is a scam. On the other hand, if you are careful to not expect much, you might be positively pleased with your results. However, we are specifically not doing this exercise to get any specific amount of money. This exercise is only to prove that you are smart enough to get more money than you have now. That is it. You must keep this intention in mind through the entire exercise. It doesn't really matter if you are selling on eBay or doing side gigs or having a garage sale. Keep your intentions tightly fixed on our purpose. You are only doing something to prove that you are smart enough to make more money. Making money will never be once and done. A common self-deception is to hope that whatever money-making goal you are working on is going to be the one that finally creates financial independence. This is a very dangerous hope. If each time you allow yourself to hope that each endeavor will be the one, you might eventually be discouraged. Instead, see each endeavor only to prove your slowly growing positive money beliefs. This one behavior that when combined with the others, money envelope, money beliefs, building delayed gratification, creativity exercises, will have an overall effect. Making money is a never-ending journey, so when starting any specific behavior, be sure to only use that behavior to further enhance your positive money beliefs. Swishing positive beliefs into the future. In NLP, there is something called a swish pattern. We'll go over a modified version here. Start off by taking a simple positive money belief that you have built from your journaling experience. Start off with your journal entry. Close your eyes and visualize it until you can feel that belief very strongly. We'll use the I'm smart enough to make more money as an example. Once you can recall that feeling based on one or more real memories, strong enough, place it in your left hand. Meaning, practice to the point where you only need to look at the palm of your left hand and recall that feeling. Take as much time as you need. This is not intended to be a magic trick. This is more of a conscious decision to purposely recall that positive money belief when you look at your left hand. Once that is set up, then take a near-term money goal, new job, 10% raise, etc., and put it in your right hand. Look at your right hand and consciously decide to imagine your near-term monetary goal. Once you have both, it's time to swish from one to the other. How to swish. Take plenty of time. This is a conscious exercise 
that will require deliberate thinking. Look at your left hand and recall the positive money belief. Then look at your right hand and recall the near-term monetary goal. The idea is to mix the positive money belief feeling with the near-term money goal idea. When you do this, you'll have a higher expectation of success when you think of your monetary goal. This will free up mental energy as it will reduce unconscious limiting money beliefs as you think about your goal. This is a purely mechanical and economic process. This is not based on any metaphysics. Now, when you think about a certain monetary goal, there is a certain amount of subconscious resistance. The more you do this swish exercise, the more you'll decrease this negative subconscious resistance by applying the positive money belief onto your money goal. This will give your creative mind more energy to think about how to achieve that money goal. Follow up with brainstorming. After doing this swish exercise, while the effects are still strong, sit down and brainstorm all the ways you might achieve that financial goal. Follow through on the ideas that seem like they might work. When brainstorming, write out any ideas that pop into your head. The more you do this, the more you'll write. Some of the ideas may seem silly but end up working. Some of the ideas will seem like they will work but they won't pan out. This swish exercise followed by journaling is only meant to get more ideas out of your brain than you normally would. Swish before events. If you are getting ready for a job interview, do some specific positive belief journaling based on any experiences you have. Build up plenty of positive experiences and then put those on one hand. Then put the idea of the job interview or any other event on the other hand. Just before the event, do the swish a few times. Create a positive money belief pendant. This sounds like goofy metaphysical magic, but it can be useful so long as you use conscious, deliberate thinking. Consider getting a specific piece of jewelry to be your money good luck charm. Every time you do any kind of positive belief building, take time and add this experience to your money pendant. For example, suppose you got a necklace with a specific money pendant. Every time you do a journaling exercise and spend some time recalling any memory that builds up a positive money belief, deliberately create a connection between the positive emotions and the physical touch of the pendant. Then you can touch it and remember to deliberately recall those feelings and memories before any important event. This is just a reminder of your positive emotions and beliefs, not a substitute. Except that you will always need to deliberately and consciously recall those positive beliefs. This pendant is only meant to help you remember to do that. I'm George Hutton. Thank you for listening to the Mind Persuasion Podcast. For more information, please visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash money dash brain. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Mm-hmm.